I didn't kiss. That's very sweet. I love me, my mama because she is nice. I love my mom because she's not good for me. What will we say? I, I love you, mama. mama. I love you, mommy, mama. mama. Happy, <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Hi. Oh, yeah, you're excited to talk to somebody else, but you're sad because it's the third segment. The show is almost over. I know, but I love retail, so I could sit here all day and talk about brick and mortar retail. Yeah, and this next one is right down the street yes. from us. We, that's just right around the corner. Everybody's kind of open up. Now, you know, Jackie, we didn't even mention last week that we have our entire office yeah. back. Look, you can see the back of Summer's head there. Yeah, our whole like team Christina's is back. Over there. Yeah, it's I mean, nice. we're being cautious and we're being careful, and uh, but it is so great to have everyone back. Yeah, we're back six feet apart. I don't know if people can tell by yes. depth of field, but we're six feet apart. We are. Uh, Hayden's going to walk outside and show you exactly where Ramble and Company is. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, compared to us. Uh, Andrew, go ahead, man. Go ahead and kick this one off. Yeah, Catherine, thank you for joining us. Um, you know, kind of tell us why you chose to open up a location downtown. Tell us a little bit about the culture of Ramblin' Company and just kind of the vibe that you portray. Okay. So I think when thinking about this question, the first thing that comes to mind is nostalgia. Jackie hit on that just a minute ago. Yes. But Ryan and I are very nostalgic people. And so when we see we are drawn to old things, and our downtown is very old, um, we renovated four houses together and then we took on this building. But when we see something old, we see potential. I want to see something creative go into it. And I, we're very drawn to revitalization. So when we, in 2016, our first store was in 7th Street. And it was a year after I quit my full time job that was very secure. And so. I was a missing people. I'm a very extroverted person. I love connection and community. And after being home alone, working a ton, I needed to be out of my home and out of my garage screen printing. So we rented a tiny little store and I just wanted a place that I could connect with people, but also kind of dabble in something, what could be the store they were currently in. I was hopeful that we would find a place that we could renovate and move. So. And I think that goes into the culture. I went to college three different places where it really doesn't matter. They were all over. Um, but what I learned was there was more than what was in Wichita Falls, which was really good for me to get out and come back. And then I missed the experiences that I had in other places. You know, in College Station, when I was there, you could walk down the street, you could shop, you could eat at really good places, and you would see a ton of people. And when I moved back, after a couple of years of being back, I greatly miss being able to go to an area that was pedestrian friendly. And so that's why I was really drawn to which downtown which falls, because I know it has the potential for that walkability like Jackie was talking about earlier. Gosh, that was so great. I think that's what I want from Ramble is, you know, that's what we're pouring into the culture of it is a place where people can come and experience and be together. It I think um, this generation of shopper definitely not, she wants experiences. Do you guys not agree? I mean, we want to go into a store and just feel good. Now, if you've not been in to Ramble and Company, that second deck, if you can look up there, if you can see it, it's just so cool. I love the smell of her store. I love the feel. Catherine, um, describe the type of merchandise that you carry at your store. So primarily, we're a screen printing company. Uh, we carry unique, one-of-a-kind t-shirts. Um, we definitely are known for our more minimal, super soft shirts, which I think has won over a lot of people here, which is awesome. Um, and that's what we specialize in. So we are an apparel company. Uh, we primarily sell t-shirts. We sell a lot of Wichita Falls merchandise, but we've also expanded in Rainbow created our own brand um, that now sells worldwide. So it's really unique that we get to introduce this thing that's all over here as well. So yeah, 
that's what's here. You know what I love? Look at the faces of Ann and Kristen as they listen to her, Everybody's to Catherine. Smiling. Yeah. Everybody's smiling because you guys get the magic of retail and and knowing your niche. Yeah. And each one of these businesses have a very distinct, incredible niche. I love that. I do too. Uh, so. Uh, Catherine, I'm looking at Andrew's shirt here. Do you guys also carry adult sizes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so when we started, actually, we were a primarily kids. I printed on little onesies that said locally grown that we started yeah. in the alley cat. I'm see Andrew, a lot of people of know what that store is here. Um, and then now it's funny that 80% of our business is definitely adult. So. Thank yeah. you, Andrew, for repping. Thank you yeah, for answering that seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine, here's my real question. Why is it so important to shop yeah. local? You know, I, I think that I could sit here and say a lot of statistics yeah. um, about why pouring economically, it's important to shop local. But I think to kind of touch on what Ann and Kristen said, it's what you feel when you walk in a place. Um, that it, when you shop local, you're not just spending money in a certain establishment, but you are being greeted with absolute gratitude and humble thank you. I mean, I think everyone said that today, that it's more when someone, like what we curate in our store, the designs I spend hours designing and then we us screen printing them, what that does when someone come and purchases that is it validates all the hard work that we've put into it. And yeah. so, I think the reason is the connection you get. We want more than, our customer is more than someone that wants like a point and click um, locally. And I think that's why it's so important to shop local is that connection, that experience. You can't get that on online. And I think that's what Jet One said, that retail is so important. That's it that a community needs retail shops. You know what, Amazon does not sell Catherine, Amazon does not sell Ann, and Amazon cannot sell Kristen. But they got and a lot of Andrews. They got a lot of <laughs> But I will say this, you cannot sell heart, love, and passion online. Not legally, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, Jackie, golly, thank y'all so much. We sure do appreciate you you being our guest. We wanted to talk about these gifts I just do. for one second though, Jackie. You know, I gotta give a challenge. It's a big shopping weekend because it's Mother's Day weekend, yeah. but there's weddings coming up and birthdays. Sure. And you know what? I even dare you to think about Christmas. So obviously, oh, I, I do. This is a wrapped gift from Randall and Com Ramble and Company. Here is a gift from the Containery. And you all recognize the curly ribbon, which is iconic from Storkland. So the social space is challenging and kindly asking everyone that's watching and listening wherever you are to go to each of these three stores and buy a Mother's Day gift. Or if you don't need to purchase a Mother's Day gift, pre-buy a birthday gift, pre-buy a wedding gift, or even pre-buy a Christmas gift and tell them you saw it on the social space. You're here to support brick and mortar stores and you're here to support small business. Yeah, and take a picture. If you do yeah. that, take a picture and send it to us. We'd like to Absolutely. see you with all your gifts. Wouldn't that be great? Yes. All right, Jackie, we are out of time. Thank you so much. Once again, so we want you to send us all your links to your cute kids and your pups and your, yeah. your nonprofits and Gosh, next week, first responders. Ooh, we got some special guests. We might have our first worldwide guest. I think we're gonna have Jackie. our first worldwide guest. All right, well, once again, uh, thank you guys so much. On behalf of Kristen Riddle, Katherine Hager, Aiden McGay Hay, <laughs> Andrew Bell, Jackie Hager, I'm Eric Crossland, yeah. and this has been The Social Space.